Hi folks, welcome back to the potting shed. And this afternoon, me and my youngest daughter are going to make some grass heads. What you'll need for this is a pop sock, some grass seed, some fresh grass seed that you can buy from any cheap shop in town, um, and some wood shavings. Okay, and as you can see here, I've got the pop sock, and what I've done first of all is put some handfuls of grass seed in first. When you put a good couple of handfuls of grass seed in, you're going to continue filling the pop sock up with sawdust. And it is a bit tricky. My daughter helped. She held the pop sock open and I tried to pop the, pop the sawdust in without tearing the pop sock. And it is a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. So we, we, we keep putting that sawdust in as much as we can. And then you can start to mould the end of the pop sock with the grass seed and the wood shavings into the shape of a head as you will see in a minute. Take your time, don't rip the pop sock otherwise you've got to start again. And it's important that you get the grass seed in first right at the bottom and then put your sawdust in after. Once you've done that and you've got enough in you can think about tying it off so you're going to just tie a knot in as close to the bottom of the moulded grass head as you can and you'll see this in a second there you go we've got a nice roundish shaped head shaped end in the pop sock with your grass seed in first for the hair which is eventually going to sprout and the sawdust is, is making up the the face and the head tie this off as close as you can to the bottom of the molded head if you if you tie it too far down the sawdust will fall down and you'll get a very skinny head okay so there you go grass seed on top it's going to sprout and produce green hair and your your head is stuffed full of sawdust so I just use some cheap uh, some cheap grass seed from the pound shop in town. What I'm doing next is I've got some string and I'm going to make a nose. So I'm just pinching the nose out and then tying it off with some garden twine. And I'll hold it up and show you in a second. It's a great thing to do with the kids, this. My daughter's face is actually better than the one I've made. There you go so we've got a nose a face shape with the hair or the grass seed on top the next thing i'm going to do is i've bought some eyes from a cheap stationery shop in town as well i've got some glue and i'm just going to glue these onto the dry grass head don't try and glue them on when it's wet otherwise it won't work It'll start to take shape now once the eyes are on. And then all I tend to do is draw a mouth on with a Sharpie pen. Again, be careful when you do this because we don't want to rip the pop sock after all our hard work. There you go, you can experiment with this. You can make it several grass heads, different faces. You can trim the hair into different styles when it's grown. Eyebrows, moustaches, beards even. My daughter decided to put a moustache on hers. I think it's very good. It looks like Hercule Poirot. And she'll hold it up to the camera in a second. There we go. <laughs> and then all we're going to do is soak the grass head in water, make sure all that sawdust is nice and wet, and that creates the perfect conditions for the grass to start growing. And in a couple of weeks' time, that fast growing grass will be sprouting out of the top of the head, and you can put whatever hair design you like. Just trim it with a pair of scissors. You could have a punk rocker, or you could flatten it down, however, you want to do it. 
but make sure that you soak those grass heads in the water nice and thoroughly soaked and then when you've done that we're going to sit them in a little bowl so that they can, can continue to draw water up and the grass will grow they look a bit funny because they're just poking out over the top of the bowls but you need to make sure that they don't dry out at this stage check them each day there we go Once they're thoroughly soaked and they're sat in a small bowl of water, place them on top of a windowsill where they're going to get some light. Because all plants need moisture and light to photosynthesise and grow. And it's no different with these grass heads. So put your nice damp grass heads on a windowsill where they're going to get plenty of sun. And uh, in a couple of weeks time, they will start to sprout. They look good actually already. Wait till the hair starts to grow. Thanks for watching. Have a go with this with your kids because I'm sure they'll enjoy doing it. And if you've liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, it'd be great if you could do so. Thanks for watching.